This Reddit title reads, I am leaving my husband because of my mother-in-law. Mm-hmm. I have been married to my husband for five years. Of those five years, I spent the last three years taking care of his mother. His mother is very sick. She can hardly go to the bathroom on her own. I have to wash her and clean her. He never discussed it with me. He just moved his mother into our house without asking me. Mm. I suggested that we should hire a nurse and he said it was a waste of money. Why do we need to hire a nurse when we can take care of her? My husband promised he would help, but he hasn't lifted a finger. I do everything. I feed his mum, I bathe her, I clean her after she does her business. I'm exhausted and I feel like a lesser version of myself. I don't recognise myself in the mirror anymore. I always clock on for her and my husband doesn't help me, but he expects me to help his mother. He just comes home and plays video games. The plague of video games on our society. I know, it's so, (laughs) like, typical. (laughs) It's so typical. (laughs) I complained about this and he yelled at me. He said he is very stressed about his mother and he needs video games to calm his nerves. I know I I I just gave shit to video games, but like I get as a sidebar that maybe they can be helpful for some people, but Mm -hmm. like, okay, whatever. The only time I saw him do anything was his mum's birthday. We were about to start a family last year, but he said not now and has the audacity to complain that I do not look myself anymore. Oh. So he says, I have eye bags, my skin looks dry, my hands start to resemble his own mother. Ew. I'm just done now. I sacrificed my job for him. I left my job and took a part-time job just to take care of his Mm mum. I should have left when four years ago, I asked him to lend me some money for my dad's operation and he gave me a bunch of excuses. Mm. So there's a massive double standard going on here. Mm. He even criticized me if I spend too much time with my own sick dad. Today at work, he is going to be served. I have been planning my escape for a few months. I'm staying with a close relative. I have money saved. I'm glad I didn't have kids with this man. Mm. I regret buying this dog. I should have bought more paint for my house and plants for my garden beds. Also, I mean, if you're queasy about, like, people talking about animals in an abusive way, nope the fuck out of this one, guys. Yeah, okay, so that's the trigger warning. Trigger warning. Yeah, okay. The, no animal abuse happens. But just being shitty to animals. They're talking about them in a pretty shitty way. Okay. All right. I bought a husky puppy from a backyard breeder about a week ago. I knew the risks of buying them from a disreputable breeder, but I still I was still willing to take on the responsibility of caring for the dog. <laughs> Let me add, I wasn't looking for a pet. What? I'm a single woman and need the extra protection, especially with women and girls being taken and trafficked. I figured I could use the Husky's keenness and alertness to train her as a watchdog and alert me for, to people I couldn't see. Um. And use her stature and appearance to deter people from approaching while out in public. I planned on raising her from a pup because I thought it was better to establish that bond at a young age. I did a lot of research and read the stories of other husky owners to get a feel for the actual experience. Well, after actually having one of these things, I'm convinced these people are 1000% delusional about their dogs. They said it's normal for huskies to be a bit stubborn and independent. Well, she knows basic commands like sit, stay, down, come here, drop it, and leave it. She came to be knowing sit and lay down. She caught on very quickly to come here, drop it, and leave it. But if she's not getting a treat or some benefit out of doing as commanded, she won't do it. That's how you do that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Training. If I'm commanding her to sit just to test her agreeableness. All right. She stares at me and willfully refuses to do as commanded. This is not stubbornness. This is defiance. (laughs) (laughs) And it's not normal. Not normal. Or good. No, 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 no. Bro, the doggy wants a treat. Doggy wants a treat, yeah. That's, I mean, that's one of the basic... Yeah, I get what you mean. Right. Yeah, okay. Defiance in a dog makes absolutely no sense and should be a big red flag that something is not psychologically right with the damn thing. Um, They also said it's normal for huskies to be vocal, and this pup is vocal, but it's not good or normal behavior for a 13-week-old puppy to consistently howl and yelp because she doesn't like being in her kennel. 
It's normal. That sounds pretty normal, yeah. Um, It's actually an early sign of separation anxiety. I did more digging into separation anxiety in dogs, and other signs include constantly following the owner around and always wanting to be touched by the owner. Both things my puppy does. It's also things normal puppy does. Yeah, honestly, They want to be pet. They want to be pet. They want love and affection. And you're not giving them that because you're using them as a tool. Um, I'm off from work for two weeks. We've been crate training consistently all day for three days now and she still hasn't associated howling with a lack of attention i try the positive reinforcement like i was taught to do in training class rewarding her with my presence when she gets quiet but as soon as i walk into the next room she's back to howling and it's not like she isn't smart she catches on quickly she just doesn't want to be in the crate so she acts out rather than catch on to the routine once she yelped and howled and i figured she needed to go out to go potty but she didn't she just wanted out so now, instead of howling to go potty, she howls to get out or to go outside, but quietly pees and craps in her crate. <laughs> Besides the poor temperament and separation anxiety, she refuses to be bathed and, groo- and groomed. She smelled horrible when I bought her because she had been kept outside. The breeder told me he would bathe the available puppies, but when I got there and picked her out, he said she was the only one he didn't bathe. This is funny because I think it's just, I, I don't know, I like the personality that this dog has yeah i get you yeah it wasn't a big deal i figured i would just bathe her at home well she was reluctant to even get near the tub let alone go in it i picked up her i picked her up and tried to rinse her off and she freaked i tried to give her a treat to calm her down she refused it i held her while i washed her and tried to rinse her again and she nipped at me i tried again to bathe her with the hose outside she ran through my flower beds i have to put the shampoo the flower beds (laughs) I have to put the shampoo on a towel and wipe her down every day because she stinks, but she runs from that. I bought some puppy deodorant, which does work, but I'm not about to buy that shit every week. Oh my god. And she attracts fleas very easily. Not wanting to be bathed was the deal breaker for me. It became impossible for this dog to ever have a chance at bonding with me at this point. She's also needy, whiny, and tries to demand I do what she wants when she wants. Like, she tried to demand I feed her at 10 o'clock at night by jumping in and pushing around her food tray while staring at me, even though she didn't eat when the fuck I put her food out earlier in the evening. She wants to eat when she wants, not when I tell her to. Besides her shitty disposition and poor hygiene, the breeder lied about her age. He said she was eight weeks, but she was actually 12 weeks, so I spent more money than I planned getting her vaccinated for the first time because it cost more um out of the vet then because it costs more for first time pups after eight weeks of age and i found out at the vet that she was infested with worms oh my god poor baby that sucks yeah granted she was in good health otherwise which is a relief given where i got her from but having worms is still a sickness i saw the specks in her poop and she crapped in my when she crapped in my bathroom but the vet confirmed it gave her 2.5 doses of worm medication And she's been crapping dead worms for the past week. The dumbass tried to eat her own crap, so I punched her snout. She licks her groin and her worm-infested butthole, then tries to lick me in the face whenever I bend down to leash her. I'm grossed out just by looking at her. Every time she tries to lick me or get me to pet her, I shoo her away. Any space she occupies in my house feels so unsanitary and unhealthy. I really hate this dog, and I don't trust her. But the delusional husky people guilt you to believe that if you can't handle a husky, then the issue is with you, not the dog. It Uh, is with you. Yeah, it is with you. Yeah. I have a pretty decent enough schedule to exercise this dog every day. She barely wants to walk five minutes. She thinks outside is for eating and inside is for running around and playing. She also crosses in front of me on the staircase. I've almost tripped three times. And that's not, come it's on, not that many times. Come on. I also have a pretty decent sized yard area at my townhouse where she can run around and play, but she is not fully vaccinated, has worms and fleas, refuses to bathe, and I don't trust her to, to listen off leash. Why would I take her out there to play? She has toys, treats, a lick mat, and puzzles to keep her mentally engaged, and I keep my AC on 68 all day to make sure she's cool because it's hot here in Louisiana, and I know she's not made for this climate. Is so the right? problem isn't me, it's this dog. But dingbat husky owners don't understand that no sane person would continue to spend time, energy, and financial resources on a seriously problematic dog. And why would I try to please a dog? She's a dog. dog? Why would I try to please a dog? She's a dog. I'm definitely not about to go out of my way to cater to a shit-eating, worm-infested, imbecile animal that thinks she's independent, 
but needs attention all day, every day to feel good. I can't express enough how much I hate this dog and why. I can't wait to get rid of her. Okay, here we go. If she was in the Arctic, she would have been starved or shot for being so useless. Oh my god. Hell, they would have starved and shot her just for being disobedient. (laughs) Because who the fuck puts up with a defiant dog? That's asinine. I'm thinking of just letting her run away. Because I refuse to burden someone with this dog's poor breeding and psychopathic behavior. Yeah, yeah, the dog's a psychopath here. Yeah. 